Hey YouTube family, this is Tasha. If you're new to my channel, welcome. For my returning positive subscribers and subs, welcome back. Come walk with me inside the Scrapbook Expo. This is being held today, which is, I think it's July the 21st, 2018, in Duluth, Georgia. I'm gonna go over here and register at the kiosk, and then we're gonna walk Guys, in. I'm walking in, and my battery is low. And I don't know how or why, but I'm just gonna walk through this place real quick. Girl Prize B. I'm really looking for, I think it's called Tall Mouse. So, um, I'm just gonna just try not to take anybody's face. Just kind of peruse through. Those are some nice ones. Crazy creations. Oh, they got the island outlet over here. With all the brass. Those are those. That's why I got those brass from last year that I still haven't used. They do have some nice looking washi tapes so but I'm not buying any washi tapes. I'm gonna get some of these enamel dots though eventually. Just not right now. Uh, where is is that Paw Patrol mess? Yep. I have no idea. Yeah, that's the Paw Patrol stuff that my grandbabies just love. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> SpongeBob and crew. I got a class at one. I thought I missed it on yesterday, but I guess I didn't. Now, I'm not gonna do a really good job of this because my battery is about to die, actually. So I'm gonna go ahead on and look for the tall mouse and see if I can find my tape that I'm looking for. And I'll catch you guys at the hall, okay? Hi guys, today is the day after the Stampin' Scrapbook Expo, which was held here in Duluth, Georgia, July the 21st, well the 20th through the 21st, 2018. Today is July the 22nd, 2018. And I just want to show you some of the things that I picked up. I actually went to the Scrapbook Expo to go to Tall Mouse to get my favorite double-sided stick tape, which is the basic brand, and they had sold out by the time I got there. I was supposed to be there early because I had a workshop to attend A to Z scrapping I think scrapbooking had a workshop called I think 101 planners or planners 101 and I had a mix up in the date so I missed that one completely just missed out on my tape but it's going to be okay uh, but I'm going to show you what I got at the show but first I'm going to show you um, the making takes that I did and then we're going to get into the haul part so like this is the show guide right here and I actually like that that's cute uh, this is one of the making texts that I did this is a scrapbook page and it goes like this and yes the expo is off and I actually like that I made that mistake and this was a two page scra uh, scrapbook spread and it goes like this and I know it's not gonna be able to show you the, I won't be able to show you the whole thing but that's how it goes so I did that and this was I think eight dollars uh, next was this one with Lorraine and this was using watercolor markers watercolor chalk markers I think that's what she said and a stamp and die that were exactly the same and she was right you really can't mess this up and I'm not a colorer or whatever at all but 
and I did this and I think it's okay. My stamping needs a lot of work, but other than that, it's cool. And I just put that as a background step. It's just words. When do they actually say anything? Heart, my heart. Uh, anyway, yeah, but get yeah, this and she gave us this little bow, this little multicolored bow to, that we could put on anywhere, and I just never did. I made this bracelet. This was from one I always go to, and I cannot remember the name, unfortunately. And this is the one where you have the little benzels and you have the little glass pieces that go with it, and you pick out a piece of paper or a design that you like on the, and you glue it to it and you stick it in there. But this is a bracelet. Let me do it this way so it'll hang. I think that's the right way. Why well, I always do it wrong. Anyway, there it is. Let's do it. Let me see if I can hold it this way. Because it's just, I'm not going to do it right. But that's the bracelet. And I, this was, cost me $3 to make. And I did not get a lanyard because for whatever reason and I'm sure they have their reasons that they only let Lorraine give out the I created buttons so I got a I created button from Lorraine for that particular card I got I learned because I signed up for the workshop and I got I return for coming back and if I had been thinking, I would have asked Lorraine to give me another one of these. And maybe she would have. And then I could have gotten a lanyard. But I'm not going to trip about that. So now let's get into the haul portion of this video. So let's see. I, I went to the Islet Outlet. Yeah, I went to the Islet Outlet. And I just got a few things. I got these red enamel dots. Some white enamel dots. This I did not mean to pick up at all. I, I did not. And I may give them away. I, yeah, no. And I got some, well actually it's not some, it was only two packs of this uh, red and clear bling. I want to put these on a paper purse. That's why I got them. All of this stuff is to go for the things that I'm going to be creating for the craft fair that I'm going to be joining. That was from the Islet Outlet. And this is from Elizabeth Craft Designs. And excuse the noise, my grands. Yeah. yeah they, um, they crunk. Yeah, they are. And these were actually their dies that were $5. And so I just picked up three, like I said, Elizabeth Craft Designs. And I got the Santa because, of course, Christmas is on the way. Got the Snowman, too. And like I said, these were $5. And this was their die of the day, which is this tag die. And a, they actually showed how to create, like, a holder, you know, like people have been creating the... Curate cup holders. They show how to create a holder with this die set. And these are the pieces back here. I didn't show you the pieces to the other ones. So I'm going to be testing this out and see if I can do that. Because of course if I can, I'm going to be doing that for the craft fair. These are the dies from the snowman. And here are the dies from Santa. There we go. And those were the ones from Elizabeth Design. I picked up these few items from Tall Mouse. Thought they would have had them, but they don't. And I wanted to get one of these last year, and I walked off and forgot. And this is the glue and residue eraser. I have several pairs of these that I cannot find. These are the reversible tweezers. And I need these especially when I'm trying to place small items. Lord, um, sequence is one of them. But I, I don't do a whole lot of placing of sequence like that. And these will actually hold something in place while it dries. So that's why I got those. I should have gotten 
a couple of pair. But like I said, I got two pair somewhere. I just got to find them. And I picked up these three as if I needed more pins. Uh, these three. These two. I picked up these two. One is purple, just purple, like a light purple. And one is a straight silver. I picked them up to maybe put with a T in. Um, don't know yet. I may just keep them because I don't have purple and I don't have just an all silver one. I do have a gray one with rose gold hardware up here, but I don't just have a straight altogether silver one. Okay, and those were the few items that I picked up at Tall Mouse. I signed up for a workshop, and the workshop was called Where are you? I just had it in my face. Let's get creative with planners, A to Z scrapbooking. <clears throat> and unfortunately, I missed the I missed the workshop. And needs to say, I was not a happy sister about that. But I was able to pick up the supplies that they used at the workshop. Um, these were the things, and these are from Simple Stories. Let's party. And I guess these are the pieces that come in this pack. And here's the sticker sheet. I don't know what happened to that. I'm sure this was a full sheet before they gave it to me. I'm sure it's probably stuck somewhere in a bag. And, <clears throat> excuse me, they gave this planner set up here. And what is this? Okay. They gave this. And this is an undated planner stuff here which is cool but to me this stuff looks old and I don't mean old as in like a vintage type old it looks like something that I got from another workshop either last year or the year before and I just <clears throat> I just haven't taken time to look and it could be that is from the same company with the same type of feel or vibe. I don't know. But, I, I, yeah. But, okay. Anyway, this was from A to Z Scrapbooking, the workshop, the planner workshop, one on one. From another one, it was called Craft. I don't know. This is it. I don't want to mispronounce anything, but this is it right here. And there, if you chose 10 um, trims, you got two free. So I chose 10 and I got two free, and I've given the two free ones I've gotten away already. But let me show you. And they were some of the same ones that you see here. And these are laid out because they had a little thing to hang them up on the end, and the other ones didn't. So, let me see, make something like something was crawling on it. Got a little bug or something running around here. But anyway, I got this gold one. And they're all the same. Well, they're not all the same except two of them. They're the same design, just different colors. So, this is the gold. And I actually purchased three of those. This is the silver. I just got one of the silver. And I'm trying to, to the, the thing is to do something so that I can use them on my craft fair items. This is the black. And like I said, I just got one of those. Here's some white. And I actually picked up three of these. And I figure with these, I can always use my alcohol inks to color them if I need to and these are the ones that didn't have the little thing on the end to hold them so I got this fuchsia I think it's fuchsia like this fuchsia one pinky purpley color hot pink whatever I got that one this was red and it did not look like red in the in scrapbook expo it looked more orange like it like it does right now as a matter of fact so I don't know if the the lighting does this because I'm under white light right now or natural light 
and right now it looks orange but when I'm under some it was another light that I was under and it looked red so that's why I only picked up one of those because if I had known that it was red I would have picked up more because Christmas is coming up and I want to use it for Christmas crafts this is a green one really pretty green and the last one is this blue one so I'm gonna see if I can come up with something some type of craft that I can use these as trim on to make them more beautiful and that is the last things from craft repones creativity that one right there thank you for taking time out of your day to watch my video if you haven't I would greatly appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel also if you like this video please give it a thumbs up all your trouble Ooh, excuse me. All your comments are truly appreciated. Come back anytime and I see you all in my next video. Bye bye, love bugs.